Hello everyone, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn the difference between siva.request and siva.intercepts. So let's begin. So uh, before understanding the difference between siva.request and siva.intercept, first let's understand a very basic concept. So whenever you go to any browser, you type the name of that particular website. For example, google.com. Okay, so once you type google.com and press enter, it will generate a request and that request will go to the specific Google server where it will process the request and in response, you will get the page of google.com. So when you talk about the page, so you will get the HTML files, CSS files, API requests, scripting and other things as well, right? So this is a very basic concept of, uh, you know, hitting the website and getting the response. So when we talk about cy.request, so what we mean is that we are actually explicitly asking the Cypress to make a request, right? So if we want to make any specific request, we will be using a cy.request method. We will be providing what request that needs to be made. So in our previous tutorials, we learned that we made the API request through this method. So we are explicitly saying Cypress to make this request. And again, this request will go to the server, it will process the request and we will get the response. So in case of APIs, we got the JSON payload in the in the response, right? So this is uh, the, the concept of using the CY.request. In contrast, if we talk about CY.intercept, it will work in a different way. So basically what happens is that if you type google.com, for example, so it will generate different calls on the backend. We are not initiating those calls. We are not using CY.request. We just type google.com. And on the backend, there are multiple calls happen just because of some requirement. So what we can do is that using the intercept method, we can keep spy those requests. We can make assertions on those requests and even we can mock the responses as well. Now, why we need to do this? So basically, in, in case of integration testing, we need to ensure that whenever you type google.com, so there should be a get call which should get executed and we see some data on the front end, right? And we are expecting that particular call to have a particular data. So let's understand a bit more about intercept using more examples on this one. Now let's see in the browser itself in a different way. So basically what we need to do is that right click on this one, go to inspect and here you need to go to this network tab because it will here you will see the different calls happening. And if specifically if I want to see the API calls, so you will be selecting this fetch slash XHR. So if I go to this google.com, you will see that I just type google.com and on the back end, I got different calls coming and that might be the requirement for the Google in similar way that might be requirement for your application, right? And if I go here and click this one, so this is basically a get call and just hitting google.com, we are getting some response here and if I preview here, so we are getting some response here right some usd to pk or something like that we are getting some some data here right similarly we are getting some data here again here and here right and now my my requirement is that whenever we hit this google.com in response we should get this play.google.com slash log this api should be called as a post call and the status code should be 200 and this is the payload and this is the response we get right so this is a requirement now how we can do this because we are not making a request here we are just visiting our website and in cypress we will be using siva.visit to visit the particular website and this is happening uh, just because the requirement and on the back end side these calls are happening for us so in order to work with this, we will be using intercept. So what intercept will do is that 
intercept will intercept this cause spy on this cause and after spying or intercepting this cause we can assert these calls and we can also mock the response data as well which is known as stubbing so this is the one case in the second case is that you you might click on some button and you might click on some link you might perform some user action and based on that user action something triggered and that trigger will generate some apis so for example uh, let me clear this one from here and uh, let me type here testing funder and let me press enter so you see on the back end i just search for testing funder and there's so many calls happening here right so we are getting some response contacts this is a post call then we have this post call this post call then we have this data coming from data sync id's endpoint this is some endpoint is happening on the back end side so basically in this particular case again we are triggering something and based on trigger the api is got executed on the back side back end side right and here in this case we can also intercept those requests and we can put assertions and we can also mock the data so when we talk about the mocking the data why we need that and and what is the benefit of intercepting because intercept will ensure that whatever you are sending through the front end is going through the network through the apis and the same data is getting stored on the database level this is our end to end test and again uh, the second is basically when we are talking about the mocking and stubbing here so what it means is that basically if we talk about agile development so what happens in agile so your developer one is working on login api and your developer two is working on registration api right so the login api is still under development for example under so let me make it this one so this is under development and this is also under so what happens is that we would be sending a request okay and just the login api is partially done so there's a request which is done and we are not sure yet what response we will get we know about the request but we don't know about the response yet response in terms of it is not developed not developed okay and this request is basically developed and now i want to test this api and in requirements i know that what should be the response right but it is under still you know in the development phase so developer is working on this login api login api and request is uh, is created you can send a request and now you can wait you are actually waiting for response to be developed but you should not wait on in this particular case what i'll do is that simply i will be intercept this call and i will mock the data mock data so i will be assuming this mock data will be basically a fake data i'm assuming that this kind of a particular payload for example i'm expecting a login response in this form right just to make you understand so i'm expecting a message simply a message parameter and the message is basically simply you are successfully logged in and then we have other parameter called access token so this is in the requirement 
and but this response is not yet developed but i can test this using uh, you know uh, cy.intercept i can mock this particular response and assume that this is some particular access token we are getting this in this particular response so i can test this one using mocking data and this mocking data is basically we are we would be creating stubs and using the stuff we would be actually creating a fake response and that fake response will help us to test the apis even even if they are under the development so this is one thing and a second thing which we already learned is that we need to ensure that we are getting the proper data from the apis we are if we are triggering something the proper apis are being triggered with the proper data so that's how you can work with the intercept so so cy dot request let me write here cy dot request is is used to to make a request mostly we use in api cases so i'm mentioning it here api whereas cy dot intercept will intercept and spy the calls which are generated based on hitting url or based on or basically it will trigger Based on any events. Once we can spy those requests, we can intercept those requests, we can stub or mock the request. Basically, the difference is we are explicitly making a request using CO. request and through the intercept, we can already generated requests can be intercepted. We can spy on those calls, we can make assertions on those calls, we can mock the data and we can also create the steps using, using the cy.intercept. So this is all about uh, the difference between cy.request and cy.intercept. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial.